Three months after my father passed away, I returned to his hometown. He left Sonnerberg when he was just two years old, only returning once in his 80th year. He wanted to have some real Sonneberger potato dumplings, something he had not had since his mother died 15 years earlier. Germans have many recipes for potato dumplings. Some dumplings are the main meal, some are sides, some are desserts. There are regional dialects like Bavarian dumplings or Thuringer dumplings. There are even dumplings specific to a city like Coburger dumplings. But in my father's family, it's the Sonneberger dumpling. These are the ultimate expression of the German dumpling. They reside on a stratum higher than any other. My father's mother used to make dumplings every Sunday morning. The women would get up early to start the preparations, while the men went down to the beer keller. There was a lot of competition among Sonneberger women about who made the best dumplings. Dumplings were a serious business. When they moved to Canada, my grandmother complained, the potatoes are no good. She could never find the right ones. I think that frustrated her a lot. My mother's mother was from Kaiserslautern, which isn't very far away from Sonneberg. She made dumplings, too. I still remember her plum dumplings. When served with the main meal, they were covered in breadcrumbs that had been fried in butter. When served as a dessert, they were gently sprinkled with icing sugar. These dumplings were a lot more versatile than the dumplings my father's mother made, who retorted, they're not pure. They use flour. I don't think the problem was with flour. I think the real problem was that my mother's father was Jewish. In my grandmother's day, making dumplings was a process requiring special tools and skills. There are many stories about how difficult it is to make these dumplings. But nowadays, we can use blenders and electric mixers. I asked my cousin, Manuela, who lives in Sonneberg, if she knew what type of potatoes to use to make the dumplings. She didn't know. She said, nobody makes them anymore. It's too much work. So I searched the internet and found I needed russet potatoes. For a recipe that calls for only potatoes and just a pinch of salt, they are indeed surprisingly difficult to make. <laughs> My wife is from Hong Kong. She makes dumplings too. Except she fills them with things like shrimps and vegetables, pork, even taro root. And she uses wheat or rice flour instead of potatoes. I don't think I've ever seen a Chinese potato dumpling. My children eat Chinese dumplings, but rarely do they eat German dumplings. I once asked my son whether he thought of himself as Chinese or German. He said Chinese, but I think I asked the wrong question, because I think you can be both. <laughs>